I cannot believe it. Oh, what am I doing? After seven months, we've not been on the Wilson Family channel for seven months, guys, and we're back, and we're back for good. So subscribe, hit that notification bell, and be ready, because we're back. Regular uploads on this channel, for sure. But Tiana's told me to watch some of these scary animations. I don't believe this. She is saying to me that she's been watching scary animations before she goes to bed. They can't be that scary. So I'm gonna give it a go. So today, we're gonna react and watch a scary animation. I've got the blanket ready, just in case. You just never know. Why am I shivering? I don't know. Creepy guy hiding in my closet. I was 10 at the time this happened. That music. I loved my bedroom. That music Since in God. Had a TV, a bed, and a closet with my computer on my desk. One night when I was sleeping, I heard a noise coming from my closet, which kind of woke me up. I didn't mind it at all because I was still trying to fall back asleep to go to school tomorrow. There's no way you can go to school after hearing that, the noise in the closet. How are you gonna get back to sleep? It's not possible. At 2 a.m. No, let me know down below. What's your biggest fears? Come on, what am I? Three hours later after I woke up at breakfast, I was getting ready to pack my bag, which was in my what? bedroom, for school. Do you want to drink? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm watching one of them scary animations Tiana's been telling me about. I said I was going to do that. Well, calm down. You just freaked me out. I'm in the middle of it. It's, at the moment, he's just found out there's a noise coming from his closet. And it's freaky. You look absolutely petrified. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. It's just intense. The music's intense. Oh I'll, I'll skip the brew. I'm gonna wait. I'll have the brew after. Okay. You need to calm down. I'm all right. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Disturbing me. Sorry about that. When I got in my room and packed my bag, I looked at the window and saw some tall black figure with a hoodie outside of my bedroom window. My heart dropped. Look at his eyes. No, seriously. That, oh man. And when I said, who in the world is that? The figure ran away. I didn't see the figure's face since he was wearing a black hoodie. And it was a little dark outside since it was 5 a.m. in the morning. Five o'clock in the morning. After I came back from school, I was on my phone researching for my school project. Suddenly, I heard a loud tap on the window. It was that figure again. What a and weird this... person. No, seriously. Tiana, you must be crazy watching these before you go to bed at night. Comment down below if you would watch one of these animations before you went to sleep at night on a school day the next day. Come on, let me know down below. Because I need to know if you guys, you know, are doing kind of the similar things as Tiana. She's a weirdo. Look at his I face. Saw his face. He was a man in his late 40s. He had wrinkly skin and had black hair. He smiled at me and said, Hey, want some candy? Oh, no, come, come on. Outside. No, no, no. This dude's not right. Come on. Look at the state of this dude. In his 40s, wrinkled skin. And now he's got sweets. And he's at the window. Your house and I'll give you some. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed and waited for me to come outside. He ran to the front door and made a mistake by standing there because my dad was going to go to work and he opened the front door and yelled at him to get the hell off his property or he'll Damn call the police. Right. I rushed to my dad and told him he'd been outside of my bedroom window stalking me. He was about to call the police when he realized he didn't want me to get scared that I was going to get kidnapped or something. He didn't want you to get scared. Have you seen the state of your face? Your forehead's gone gray. You're sweating and your nose is pointing to the right. You're really scared. He's already scared, Dad. Come on, get on the phone, deal with this. So he said he would install security cameras. Nah. The only reason why I didn't scream when he was outside of my bedroom window is because that I thought it was one of my friends trying to study with me, but I- Listen, come on. Come on, guy. Listen, dude, your friends don't look like that. What are you, 10? So you got friends what are in the 40s, wear hoods, wrinkled skin, and look like a complete weirdo. That's your friends. You know it's not your friend. You know it's a weirdo. I thought to myself, 
why the hell would any of my friends want to study at 5 a.m. in the morning? I look like and that. none of my friends were really that tall. Oh no, I, that I can't night, do moons. I just can't do moons. This is gonna go wrong. I know it's gonna go wrong. Oh God. Don't watch this at night, guys, I beg you. I heard someone laughing in my closet. I didn't open my eyes, I feel for but it. I was scared to death. Since I heard that he was scratching the bedroom closet with something that sounded kind of like a knife. Oh my gosh, this is... I waited a minute or two until I built up my courage to make a run for it. I screamed for my life while I ran to my parents' bedroom and locked the door. I explained to them what happened and there was someone in my closet. My mom called 911 and the guy was saying stuff like, Come out and I won't make your parents watch as I stand. No, he's got a knife now. This dude has got a knife, okay? That is, that is on another level. I mean, come on, what are you doing with that knife in that house with the knife? That is definitely not your schoolmate. That is on another level. And that was the whole family. Look at them. The whole family and me are all scared. Thing that made me so scared because my brain was alerting me that he did have a knife. No, just seconds later, we heard yes, silence, about time. And me and my parents heard the police bust the door yelling, Police, drop your weapon and put your That's hands right. Up. That's right. Me and my parents were relieved that he was gone. I was very lucky that my closet was far away from my bed. It turned out that the guy was a crazy mental guy who escaped from his mental hospital by stabbing the security guards and breaking out. What is this all about? This is an animation. It's like a, a horror film at the cinemas. This is serious stuff. Tiana! I need to watch some more of these. I need to get to the ins and outs of these animations. You, are you watching these kind of things, guys? Down below, I need to know. This dude broke out a mental institute and has gone to this family house with a knife! From now on, my parents have set up security cameras in each and every room and also outside. Who knows what would have happened to me if I didn't hear him laughing in my closet. You're in bed. You've got to school the next day. You've done all your homework, because I know you guys do your homework, yeah? And then all of a sudden, you're just dozing off. Then you hear it in the background. Ha, 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 ha. He, 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 he. He, 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 he. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you something. I'll, I'll, I'll be running out of my house. I'll be gone. Would I have been stabbed to death? Or what if he was hiding under my bed? Under the bed! No, that's even worse. That is... Oh. Since that day, I still don't know how he got in my parents' house. Maybe my mom or dad forgot to lock the front door. Or he got in from my bedroom window. No, that is freaky. That is intense. That is intense. All right, okay. I'm gonna have words with Tiana when she comes over from school today because my palms are wet. They're dripping. Right now, I just need to get the ins and outs with Tiana. Oh, mate, this is insane. I'm not sure if I can do a part two. You have to let me know about now, below. <laughs> let me know down below, guys, part two. Peace out.